Hey everybody, I'm so glad to be back. It's me, Michael, from the recovery team, and I'm here to provide you with more professional data solutions. Today we continue our series about hard disk drives, but we add in the scope SSDs, and the topic is gonna be speeds. Yes, we're going to test speed, something which was really anticipated and requested by a lot of you. Before that, let me remind you that somebody can win a $50 Amazon gift card. So make sure to leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and fingers crossed for you to be that lucky winner. All right, let's go on topic. Hard disk drives versus solid state drives and what's the speed difference. And first, I wanna talk a little bit more about the specifications of these drives. And we're gonna start with the HDDs, the hard disk drives. They have been used for the last 30 and maybe more years. And although technologically HDDs have advanced a lot, their limiting point is the fact that there is a spinning disk and a head or multiple heads accessing the data. The biggest advantage, however, is the cost, the cost per gigabyte, because this is still the most affordable common mainstream solution for people to store their data. The second major kind of consumer storage solution are the SSDs or solid state drives, and there are multiple form factors and options. These drives are flash-based. This technology is far more superior, and while it used to be a lot more expensive in the past, prices are now rapidly going down thanks to their growing popularity. Okay, now let me give you a simple example that I believe everybody is going to understand. One of the most important characteristics of a drive is the capability of doing input-output operations per second. For a normal hard drive with a speed of 5,400 watts per minute, the expectation is that it's going to be able to do between 50 and 55 of these operations per second. For a solid-state drive, this number goes as high as 100,000. Yes, you heard me right. 55 versus 100,000. Luckily, in real life performance, the situation is not that different. Why do we want to test then? Well, on one side could be just curiosity to figure out how quick this drive is and this one. Sometimes, however, we need to make a choice. For example, we might have two drives with similar capacity and to decide which one is going to be used for booting the operating system from, and that leads to better performance. If you run an SSD drive, no matter the operating system, it's going to perform better. For the test here, we're going to use one of the simplest and yet most powerful utilities for that purpose, called Crystal Disk Mark, which is a nice small utility, free for use, so everybody can get it at home and test his or her own performance of the SSD or HDD. Let's get started. First, let's go ahead and measure the average values for reading and writing of a hard disk drive. Let's launch the app, choose the drive and initiate the test. Again, expect this one to be slower, and we can notice the values. This is a Seagate drive with capacity of 8 terabytes and working speed of 5400 watts per minute. Looking into the data, this device is a great one for archiving files, but maybe not too great choice for being a boot drive. Why? Let's take a look at the SSD test. Again, choosing the drive to be tested and starting. The thing you're going to notice is how much higher the values are. Putting the tests side by side, we have a clear winner by far. Note that these results may vary depending on the size of the drive, the brand, the generation and the storage controller used. Quite obviously, as a conclusion, we can know the supremacy of solid state drives. And yes, they are significantly faster than hard disk drives, but still a little bit more expensive, especially if we count the cost per gigabyte. Often, such kind of tests could be indicative about poor performance, and often poor performance could mean that there is an ongoing hardware complication which could lead to a hardware failure, and when that happens, you might lose some data. And this is where we kick in. Make sure to download Recover It, because as long as you can access the drive somehow, there is a great chance that most or all of your data is going to be recovered using the Recover It software. That's been all for this episode and now you know how to do some benchmarking or hard disk drives and solid state drives and you may check some of our other episodes to figure out how exactly 
we do the recovery magic. It's been my pleasure, you to be my guest. Don't forget, $50 Amazon card is awaiting one of you. Make sure to be subscribed, leave a comment, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.